youtubers welcome to my channel try it yourself and today I have a little project with my Ford Transit as you know the guys that are coming back on my channel this is my rebuilt title vehicle and it was hit over here on the right passenger side so I had from the very beginning a leak somewhere in the coolant and I couldn't find it where what was the reason until uh, last Saturday when I was doing the change oil it actually <laughs> finally burst I hope this is the problem but anyway at least one of the problems maybe there's another one but this one is a little elbow and I'm gonna show you a little that's a uh, elbow on an EGR valve that's what it looks like looks really flimsy as you can see it there's two of those elbows so I have this one over here cracked I don't know whatever happened to it and here's the thing uh, this has a special tricky screw from the Ford so this is not a regular regular Torx bit but this is uh, first of all with a secret and as you can see this is five point star bit so this is torque plus TS and uh, I got this uh, set from Amazon so I'm gonna give you a link below this video you, you're gonna be able to find it uh, otherwise I call uh, all of that, well not all of that, I call AutoZone, I call Advanced Auto Parts, I didn't try uh, I didn't try Napa or right here, so that's that's the one if you're gonna be doing that yourself I don't see the number over here but yeah yeah I'm not gonna be able to give you that number I think this is like a Torx again this is not Torx but this is TS with a five point and it's a security bit with a hole in the middle as you can see this screw over here so that's the bit again I there's no marking on it yeah I don't see it so anyway if you're gonna be doing this project this bit is this the whole set costs like eight dollars or something whatever under ten dollars so whatever this is yeah this is from 10 to, to 40 so 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 so 10 15 this is 20 I guess if if this would be the guess anyway the story is why I bought this valve because Ford has those little elbows on back order and the soonest ideal case scenario is two weeks and if you understand I cannot just sit over here at home because not driving losing a lot of money so valve itself 28 or something like that dollars I mean the elbow $28 the whole valve with all of this $142 so obviously it's more money but in the big picture I am saving a lot of money so I don't want to change the whole valve so basically what I'm gonna do I just gonna uh, well I need a socket to undo this I just gonna take the elbow from this valve and replace it and that's the plan for today Well, to undo this, well, I really don't want to break it any farther than what this thing is already. To get to the tight spot, you're going to need a quarter inch socket. That's what, ideally, if you have a wood magnet, that's, that would be ideal, but not in my case. I don't have it. So I'm just going to have to be very careful.
It's actually or you need the ratchet just to break it. It's actually coming out really easy. Yeah, see? That's the screw. Well, and to undo this thing, you got, I'm gonna have to squeeze it somewhere. Anyway, it's a little bit tough. You gotta squeeze this plug from the top over here, this, and over here on the bottom. And then this thing get released. So we got it actually in two pieces. So. Yeah, there's a little grommet, so you're gonna have to wiggle it a little bit to get it out, but just like that. So now I got it out, now I need to get that one out of there. need to make to line up with the hole You don't want to go crazy too tight. Well, there's actually metal. There's actually metal ring in there, so you want it tight, but not too tight. And now we're just gonna click this thing. You don't have to click when you push it back. Just it click that's it that's all the repair so I don't know if any of you guys will have to do this kind of repairs because you know uh, this is most likely happen after the crash but then again the reason why I think it happened there is a clamp for the hose that coming from the motor going up and there's a clip that's supposed to secure that hose from vibrating and stuff like that it was loose that hose was just hanging over there that's what I was talking about when when you buy a vehicle after a crash with the rebuild title the guys who do repair they just trying to cut corners sometimes intentionally sometimes not anyway I'm not the one to complain I'm just stating the fact so and I actually don't know if this was the only leak but I, I uh, in a week I was driving for about three four thousand miles and uh, in four thousand miles my uh, coolant reservoir was dr uh, dropping from the max uh, point to the low point so 
I don't know if this was the problem, but anyway, this was the repair. If this video, guys, was helpful for you, please shoot me a like and don't forget subscribe to this channel. Thank you, and you, if you have something like that, good luck. It's not that scary.